Hi, I'm Hadar from Port. Welcome to your developer portal. Once you complete the onboarding process and connect your Git provider to Port, several components will be created in your portal in order to help you get started and see what you can expect to achieve with Port. In this video, we will introduce the different components to familiarize you with your portal. First off, this is your home page. It serves as a hub for all users in your organization and accommodates their daily routines. It is a fully customizable dashboard where you can create widgets to visualize and track data that matters to you and your developers. As you can see, it currently has two widgets. One is a markdown file that can be used to communicate important information to your colleagues. The other is the iframe widget containing this video. Next up is your builder. Here you can model any data source you wish using customizable blueprints. You can also connect logically related blueprints to each other using relations. Port provides you with a service blueprint that represents a service in your organization implemented in a Git repository. The service has some properties defined in it which will be ingested into Port from your Git provider. Now let's take a look at our software catalog. This is the home of all the data that you ingested into your portal. Your catalog displays all of your entities, which are instances of the blueprints you defined in your builder. Here we have a catalog page for our services. Since we've already connected our Git provider to port, we now have an entity for each service or repository filled with real data. Another important pillar of your portal is the self-service page. Port allows you to create flexible, permission-controlled actions for your developers to use. They are created and executed from this page. You should see several existing actions that cover some common use cases. Since the logic of these actions requires personal information, such as tokens or credentials, you will need to complete their setup in order to use them. Each action has a link to a guide that will walk you through the steps. The next pillar we'll introduce is scorecards. Scorecards are used to define and track metrics for your resources and enforce standards in your organization. They are defined per blueprint and can be created from the blueprint itself in your builder page. If we take a look at our service blueprint, it comes with a production readiness scorecard that defines and tracks several rules that our services need to comply with. Lastly, we have dashboards. In addition to your home page, you can create dashboard pages in your software catalog. Here you can create widgets to visualize and track data about your entities. You should see two dashboards in your catalog, containing different tables and charts with real data about your services. That's all for now. Hopefully, you can start to get value out of your new developer portal. For any questions, feel free to join our great Slack community. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.